God says, Sometimes, you need to let go of the ones you love because I am taking them to places you were never destined to go. And I am taking you to places they were never destined to go. Have peace, and remember all the goodness you shared with others. I love you. Dear God, may you walk with me and never leave me. Help me to work diligently from the morning. If I am unsure about certain decisions, grant me the wisdom to make the right choices. Lord, protect me from temptation and danger, remove my weariness, fatigue, and fear. Please accept my thoughts and mind, and fill them with your love and peace. If God has answered your prayer, please comment, Amen. Heavenly Father, on this Saturday morning as we rise to meet you in prayer, we approach your throne of grace, thankful that you give us the privilege to come to you anytime with our requests. Grateful for having the assurance in your word, that when we pray, you're always listening. Today, I'm asking that you let a spirit of peace come over those who are hurting, fearful and filled with uncertainty about their future. I am asking that you would give them the answers they seek, and heal them of whatever you see that needs healing in their life, be it physical, financial or spiritual. Let their day be filled with your peace and your presence, as the Holy Spirit leads their way. In Jesus' name we do pray, Amen. God, thank you for caring for the needs of your people. You give me everything I need, everything I have is yours. So please use me and what I have to fulfill the needs of others. Even when it feels hard to be generous, please help me to be willing to give my time, money, and possessions for the good of others. In Jesus' name, Amen. Dear Lord, as I seek to grow spiritually, keep me humble and mindful. Humble in how I consider myself, mindful in how I consider you. In all things, may you, Lord, be the one who is praised, honored, and glorified forever, as the Bible says in James for verse 10, humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will lift you up in honor. May your words guide me so how to practice according to your will. All glory be to you. Declare Amen. Matthew 24 verses 9 to 13, Then you will be handed over to be persecuted and put to death and you will be hated by all nations because of me. Ten at that time many will turn away from the faith and will betray and hate each other. One land many false prophets will appear and deceive many people. Twelve because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold. Thirteen but he who stands firm to the end will be saved. Once, a man was asked, what did you gain by regularly praying to God? The man replied, nothing, but let me tell you what I lost, anger, ego, greed, depression, insecurity, and fear. Sometimes, the answer to our prayers is not gaining but losing, which ultimately is the gain. Philippians for verses 6 to 7. God is saying to you today, I know you've been doubting yourself lately and wondering if you really are good enough or strong enough to do what I have placed in your heart to do. This message is here for you to remind you that you can do all things through Christ. Don't let fear talk you out of your dream. Stop stressing. I'm with you. I've already worked it out. Ephesians 6 verses 14 to 15, so you must stand strongly. This is God's armor that you must wear, 
God's true message will be like a belt that you tie around your body. Always do what is right. That will be like a metal shirt that you wear to keep your body safe. Be prepared to tell people the good news about peace with God. That will be like shoes on your feet. Amen, Tilda, if you believe it. Dear friend, do not imitate what is evil but what is good. Anyone who does what is good is from God. Anyone who does what is evil has not seen God. 3 John 1 verse 11 God, thank you for promising to walk with me through betrayal and pain, people have hurt me and broken my spirit. Thank you for being a God who can sympathize with me. Fill me now with your strength and the truth of your word. In Jesus' name, Amen. For the word of the Lord is upright, and all his work is done in faithfulness. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the steadfast love of the Lord. Tilda Psalms 33 colon for dash 5 And if the silence has you upset, if the pain has caused confusion, if you're running into the unknown, know that your whole life is about to change. You're in transition. You're becoming. Hold the Father's hand through this process. Your footsteps will soon enter your promised land. Exodus 33 verse 19 The Lord replied, I will make all my goodness pass before you, and I will call out my name, Yahweh, before you. For I will show mercy to anyone I choose, and I will show compassion to anyone I choose. Matthew 4 verses 19 to 20 Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will send you out to fish for people. At once they left their nets and followed him. Amen. God, every word from you has purpose. You always do what you say you will do. But sometimes, your methods are not my methods. Sometimes, I find myself waiting on you to act. When I start to wonder what you are doing, please remind me that you are working even as I wait. You are faithful, and I will trust in you. Amen. And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Tilda Ephesians 6.18 I feel a stirring in the atmosphere. I see angels are active. They are on assignment. I see a rush in heaven to bring the harvest. I see rain. I see a rushing wind that will force your breakthrough to push through the opposition. It's time to take hold of the land you were promised. It's time. Hold firmly to the word of life, then, on the day of Christ's return, I will be proud that I did not run the race in vain and that my work was not useless. Philippians 2 verse 16 when you see what God does next, you'll realize that worrying was a waste of time. Something good is coming. Ease your mind and place your confidence in God. He's got something special and amazing in store just for you. Keep your head up and be encouraged. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 10 these things God has revealed to us through the Spirit. For the Spirit searches everything, even the depths of God. Type Amen. The realist warriors are the ones who don't run from their lessons but instead, turn to face them. 
Those who are comfortable in the fire of self-transformation. Willing to become every ounce of who they were created to be. Mark 11 verse 24. For this reason I tell you, when you pray and ask for something, believe that you have received it, and you will be given whatever you ask for. Amen, tilde, if you believe it. You are loved by God because he made you, and you are his creation. His love is like a constant, warm hug that never fades away. You matter to him, and his love for you is beyond any mistakes or imperfections. Always remember, you are loved by God simply because you are you. You are loved by God because you are precious to him. He sees your worth and cherishes you deeply. In his eyes, you are valuable beyond measure. Remember, his love for you is unconditional and everlasting. Fear not, for I am with you, be not dismayed, for I am your God, I will strengthen you, yes, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41 verse 10 May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Tilder Psalms 1914 For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. John 3 verse 17 1 Corinthians 15 verse 33 Don't let loneliness make you reconnect with toxic friends. You shouldn't drink salt water just because you're thirsty.